now. Come on. She's got some scrapes and bruises, but I don't see any signs of serious injury anywhere. So, Shizuku, you gonna tell us how you know her or what? <sighs> Rin is my younger sister. Right, right, of course. She's your sister. Huh? Wait, hold the phone. She's your sister? That was an oddly delayed reaction. So does that make her a Night Eater too? You know, I actually called this one. Just wish I'd have said it out loud. It's like the kind of twist you see on TV. You've got the two sisters at odds, both dealing with some major crisis, and then some bad guy comes in, and they both have to fight him. Really? Uh, Pops, you so didn't call this. Don't even pretend. And wipe that whole smirk off your face. Mm. Two little sister characters in the same group. This could pose a danger to our identities and create a rift in the fabric of reality. No, I'm fairly certain that it couldn't. Six months ago, Rin ran away from home, but she left a note behind. It was roughly 50 pages long, and outlined all her resentment and hatred toward me. It said I no longer had the right to call her sister, and proclaimed that she never wanted to see my face again, among other things. 50 pages isn't a note? That's a freaking light novel! Was it her falling out with you that led her to run away from home? Well... Uh, uh, I think Rin is waking up! Rin, are you all right? Thank goodness you're awake. I was afraid you might not ever open your eyes again. Why? I tried so hard to keep you from getting involved. I'm sorry, Rin. I only wanted to know how you truly felt. Sis, I... I'm really sorry. I wanted so much to keep you from getting caught up in my fight. So I wrote all those horrible things. I thought that might have been it. You left me that note so I'd stay away. That must have been very painful for you. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. No, no, I'm the one who should apologize. That was an awful thing for me to do. I just couldn't live with the thought of placing you in harm's way. So I thought, I thought, <laughs> sis, I'm so sorry. Please, can you ever forgive me? Of course. It'll take more than 50 pages of hatred to bring me down. I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure I'd hold that against her if it were me. Yeah, me too. We'll talk more later. For now, you need to get some rest. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. You say that like you own the place. I mean, not like I'm... Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, then. I'll take... So pop idols can be night eaters, too, huh? Truth really is stranger than fiction. I'd say they're equally strange and equally ordinary. Rin, you're up and about. Yep, a little R&R &R is all I needed to get my strength back. I feel totally fine now. Everyone here at Mogra has been really kind to me. So thanks once again, from the bottom of my heart. No, no, we don't need to be thanked. It's the least we can do after you've given us so many good times with your lovely music. Oh, well, thanks for that too. I'm kind of a terrible singer, honestly, but if you enjoy it, that's good enough for me. Man, it's like this Rin and the pop idol Rin are two totally different people. Indeed, this Rin is far more courteous. That's because as a pop idol, Rin's what you might call a sundere. Hard on the outside, but soft where it counts. Hard on the outside is right. Seems like all of <laughs> That's entirely a stage persona. It's all a carefully rehearsed act. It would have to be. The Rin I know is as gentle and kind as can be. Oh, come on, sis. You're embarrassing me. Uh, all this talk of me being gentle and kind and cute and wise. Uh, I think you added a couple. That's why it shocked me so much when you left me that note. want you getting mixed up in my problems. But forget about me for a second. Why on earth, of all people, would you make a boy like this your familiar? Huh? You can only enter into the blood contract once in your entire lifetime. You two are bound by fate now. I mean, you're this elegant young lady, sis. Don't you think you should have chosen someone a little more... how compassionate you are. Hey, not, not to break up this touching display of emotion, but you've got somebody glaring holes through you right now. If she doesn't say something, she might explode. <sighs> well, who might you be? Some wretched lowlife's little sister. Little sister? I've been listening to your slanderous ramblings. Nobody. I mean, nobody is allowed to speak ill of Brody but me. Well, look at you, cutest thing ever. Ugh. You're nothing at all like your brother. Could it be that he's only your half-brother or some such? No. We're definitely blood siblings. Oh, well, thank goodness you've got all the good genes. Your adorability is some kind of miracle. I'm gonna pat your head now. Pat, pat. Yeah. Somebody help. I'm... I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> what a charming little lady. Now listen up, Minion. Sis may have had some nice things to say about you, but don't let it go to your head. Make sure you know your place and act with all appropriate discretion. 
overly familiar with her, you'll be sorry. Are we clear? So much for gentle and kind. Rin, I wonder if you might tell me now why you disappeared, why you ran away. Greetings and salutations to you all. What's this I hear about the Freedom Fighters gaining a new member? Shion uh, Kasugai. At ease, Rin. Or shall I call you Ms. Tokikaze? I have no desire to fight you. Uh, then why did you come here? Rin, calm down. Let's hear what she has to say. Thank you, Shizuku. And I also know there must be a reason you harbor such misgivings about the company now, yes? There, it's because of this. Every time they show up, I search the area, and I always find Daishi Han's tracks somewhere nearby. Tracks so deep and obvious, you shouldn't even try to deny them. Daishi Han's involved, and that's crystal clear. And that's why you entered our poster girl contest, I suppose. So, President Shion Kasugai, are you going to stand there and tell me you have no idea what's going on inside your own company? Wherever there are synthesters, Daishi Han is always close behind them. Hmm, I'm afraid you're only half right, Rin. And the other half is absolutely wrong. Excuse me? The reason I've been playing hooky so much lately is because my company suffered a bit of a coup d'etat, you might say. A coup d'etat? That don't sound good. A particular faction in the office has been fighting to dethrone me. If they take my place, they'll impose their officially, supposedly, this new technology can... You don't mean... My, you catch on quick. Now, if I were to venture a guess... <laughs> I'm... Me. Always. Well, I... But I want you to... Believe what you will. It is my company, after all. Ultimately, the responsibility does rest with me. Oh, absolutely. It's as unethical as can be. Though, and if though... Okay, so Miss Kasugai's looking into the Daishi Han stuff, right? He warned us. I'm always... for a fatal wound instead? Hey, listen. You got this guy cornered, and uh, dogs bite when you corner him. Time. I'm okay. I want to go to... But 